stepping in from the blue line again. Keenan, Emma Keenan. There's a shot coming in, a well blocked in front. There's a chance here now. Right at the back door, and it's a goal! Clarkson got the first goal of the afternoon. Lauren Gable has the Golden Knights up and running. Yeah, that, again, uh, you'll hear a lot of her name today. Uh, Lauren Gable, certainly one of the top players, if not the top player in the country. Um, she, she makes things happen and will definitely graduate as uh, Clarkson's leading scorer after her senior year. Cassie Sove, the goaltender of the month in ECAC, was announced yesterday. Shot coming in there, and that doesn't get the whole way through. And there's a chance here now for Clarkson to break forward. Gable looking to get the oh. attack going here, picks it up, breaks in, and just inside a backhand effort, just hits the post. Big chance for Lauren Gable, but she grew, shoot, great speed around the outside. Here comes Cassie Anderson. Anderson now, dipsy duels around the defence, and a great play at the back end once again by Stoddard. Ryan behind the net now of Sauvé to the blue line. Fontaine looks their backhand play. What a save what a from Sauvé going post to post and just showing why she's been nominated for the, the goaltender of the month. Possibon. It's a lovely pass off the wall. Giger, toe drag stuck oh, inside. Lovely. What a finish from Giger. Elizabeth Giger, lovely toe drag inside. Goes top corner. Four on four. Lots of space out there, 2 0 Clarkson. Nice play, you can see uh, just gets banked off the wall in their own zone there. We've got a guy driving wide here. Moving her feet, there's Petty. It's just, it's all a very, very important part of the game. Just keep moving the feet, there's a chance to get the official to blow that whistle for a penalty. Down low, a real battle in front. Shot coming oh, in, what a finish! Wow. Yes. Skyler Fontaine! Gets Northeastern back in the game. And what a finish from her. 2 1 well to Clarkson. Deserved, well deserved goal there, Simon. A great movement of the puck there, and it just paid off. Lovely move across her. Fontaine sends it down low. Great heads up play as it comes back up the wall there. And Hartman with a lovely assist and a fantastic finish by Skyler Fontaine. Skyler Fontaine with her third goal this season and her 11th point. The junior year at Northeastern. And Northeastern, as I say, back into it. They've had much the better opportunity. See, there's a chance here, and I'm going to go for a back wow. play. And they've tied it up. 2-2. Two, two. Lovely heads up play from Muller. Finished up by Cassidy Anderson. Another, that was a quick goal off the back of the last one there. Uh, they've definitely got the momentum going in their, their direction. 17 seconds between both goals. Heads up play by the Swiss national, Alina Muller. Sends it through and driving the blue paint. Just as you talked earlier, Mark, look at that first spin away from her. Cassidy Anderson, nice. stick on the ice, right in the slot, and a great finish. Northeastern have really put this back into being a big, big game now. 2-2, two, two. there's a chance again. It's oh, the in the lead. <laughs> Northeastern from 2-0 down with 129 on the clock. Now leads 3-2 with 53.9 seconds to go in the second period. Lovely play inside there by Tori Sullivan. And stepping up the joiner was Mia Brown. Mia Brown gets a go-ahead goal for Northeastern. Another face-off win by Clarkson. A shot in front, tip, and tied things up. And a lovely tip in front by Kelly Mariani. Well, I think we jinxed her, talking about her. And that was a beautiful tip, and that's all it takes. She didn't have a lot to play with either. That's deflected just inside the post. Yeah, that's a heads-up play, standing right in her lane. Tipped in front by Kelly Mariani, and it's game on, 3-3. So face off, when a toe drag shot coming through, and a good save again by Frankel. Maybe one last chance for Arena Muller. She has to spin back towards her own defense here, but sends it through. Aurora picks it up, she goes cross ice, good poke check away from there. Eight seconds remaining, and there's a long stretch pass up the middle for Guichard, Guichard into the circle, puts the toe drag, shot coming in. Covered up by Franco, and On just the as the horn goes, it ends 3-3 at the SSA Arena in Belfast. Fantastic game between Clarkson and Northeastern. And Joe, again, we can't thank you enough for bringing these
girls over here this week. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And the first game was a real barn summer. Kind of a fitting uh, result, in, you know, Northeastern salvages it with those three goals in 37 seconds. Clarkson has something to take home. They didn't give up at that point and come back and tie it. So we'll, we'll have some bragging rights on the line tomorrow. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here. Well, we really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Coach, uh, an exciting 3-3 tie this afternoon. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, being out, out shooting and uh, Clarkson in the first period, um, I think you were unlucky not to maybe get a goal or two in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, their, their goalie played well. Uh, I think she came up with a couple big saves for them early on. And, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, they got an opportunistic goal there early. I think we were, the first seven minutes, we were banging the rust off. We hadn't played in over a month. And I think there was probably some nerves, um, you know, because of how big a game it was. So, uh, you know, but their, I, I felt like their goalie came up with a couple big saves. It could easily have been 1-1, 2-1 one, us after the first, uh, if she hadn't come up with those saves. They took a 2-0 two, two no lead, um, and then it was a, an electric fan last, uh, well, one minute and 30 seconds, but three goals in 37 seconds. It must be some sort of record, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I, I, first thing I said. I think it was actually the score sheet, I think, said 35 seconds, so I was uh, wondering if that was an NCAA record, but uh, it was what we needed. You know, we were down 2 nothing. I felt like we were controlling the play in the second period. We had some really good chances, some good looks at the net, and then they come down and kind of you know, they hadn't had a shot in a while, and, and it goes in for them, and we're down to nothing. Um, but it was a great answer going into the third, um, you know, up a goal when we were, we were down, you know, with only, you know, under three minutes left in the period. So, uh, you know, I liked how we re responded there. We could have gone back on our heels, and we didn't, and we, we went forward, and, and um, you know. Coach, uh, real pot led there today. Um, taking a 1 0 lead at the end of the first 20 minutes, um, and your goaltender coming up with some big, big saves. Yeah, she definitely uh, kept us in the game there in the first period. I thought uh, we gave up a few chances right around our net, but uh, Cass did a pretty good job keeping us in that game, allowing us to kind of get that lead and, and uh, just letting us get our feet underneath us. You double the advantage in the second period. Uh, and then with a space of 36 seconds, they come back and, and end up taking a lead going into the second period. That was a pretty impressive uh, bit of play from their side of things. Yeah, no question. You know, they're a great team. You saw that tonight. Uh, you know, I think it was a good learning lesson for our team that uh, you can't even take one shift off. You can't take a minute off in a game against a good team like that or else they're going to make you pay. And, uh, you know, that's something that uh, we talked about after the second period. I thought we came out in the third period with a little better effort and, and everything and a little bit more focused.